Because none of the prices Is that a first print? No. Yeah. Oh, it's a yeah, so reprint. This is after the end, it's not like that's good though. First so, plate. But some of you know, can I get a discount? I'm like, no, because you know, because you know, it's that beautiful, but it's the whole thing. You know? yeah. I mean, you guys traveling up to Lower Lane? Did you see all these? I wanted to see you. Some nice uh, lower grade. It's kind of crap. Uh, 10 bucks. 15. No. I wish this was. There, little back there. Have you guys been finding some cool stuff? We got that. Dude, congratulations. I've been looking for one for a while, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea what that was. Cool. I, I had to read because I, I, I thought it was the first Hellboy, yeah. but I wasn't 100% sure. That's awesome. Pick up. You mind me asking how much you paid for it? 200 bucks. Cool. From Lee over at Living Dead, he gave it to me for what he paid for it. Awesome, awesome guy. Yeah, I got some cool. horror mags too. I've been oh, yeah, got picking up some horror mags. I wound up getting uh, the, 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 the number one cover, Ninja, Ninja so Turtles number one from Zulo. Oh, what is that? And I wound up getting uh, That's uh, a giant, which was unheard of. They, they it. got it with their yeah, But so nice. it was like a two by three of a box. Yeah. yeah, all these books are for PC. We're PC buying today. Cool. Hey, congrats on that Hellboy. That's so cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, when he when he threw it in front of me, I was like, oh, I need that. These are cool. Here are the shield. Yeah, those are nice. Incredible Hulk. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's cool. Friday the 13th. How they have this spread out. You never see those. Yeah. Darth Vader. Terminator. How much is that? These are tunes. Yeah. Flash. I don't think any of his pricing is real. Well, I mean, it's like from like 2022 or something. What's up with the mat over here? This is a great idea. The reason why is because nobody ever wants to get down on the ground. And so I'm providing comfort because my people love it. That's a great but, idea, Tony. But the biggest thing is that I've, I've adopted this now as to where I looked at some of you, how you guys did your stuff at your sales, and I came up with just packaging it perfect. For the person who had this collection here was an absolute stickler for everything being flawless. So I can actually honestly say every book is just absolutely perfect. It's in a package, that's how much. And if the pricing is different, then we could work it out. You know, we like, we love the atmosphere. We love the business, the people. You ever see me at a con setting up? Only once a year, why? Because I'm out and about. I'm, I'm all about the relationships that are here. There's so many great ones. You know, um, I have these people calling back, they're sick, or w w just things like that. It, it, it makes my heart flutter to have those type of relationships that people even trust me that much. And it should be something that you should have in your business. Like you guys, they come over your house, they know they're, co they're completely safe, comforted, nothing's ever gonna happen, to you, and they're gonna get a great person they're gonna go home happy every damn time. That's why you got lines. Thanks, Tony. You've got to cultivate relationships like that. It's, 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 it's a must. How's your show going? You having a good it's, it's, one? I'm, it's, it's good. But the thing that I hate, you're probably going to edit this out, though. So Tom taught me, you're going to love this. Tom taught me that Tony, he sounds like the family when he talks to me. You got to get the, the little thing that, that uh, you dip this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have right. Square. So I go, I go to go use this thing, and the phone tells me, tap the phone. I'm like, what do you mean tap the phone? Yeah, you don't have to. Now, I got robbed of 50 bucks for this thing, and the phone does everything. But I found out later on that my phone, of course, obvious, doesn't dip. So, so if, if it all goes south, you can still dip it, and that works. Because I have the tap too, but half the time with my phone case, the tap doesn't work, so yeah. I just use the swiper. It's yeah. much easier. Is that so all your stuff on the wall back here? Well, yeah, all the stuff here. What's but, your favorite book you brought with you? You got, a, got anything oh, that well, sticks out? Oh, well, today, this doesn't look like much. But this is an extremely hard Mark Jeweler to find, especially with the black cover. 
you know? First white and you rabbit. know me, I'm all about the Mark Jewelers and stuff, you know? Yeah, you always look at the insides of all your stuff. Yeah, and um, I didn't bring it because I just figured I was going to want to Oh, hey, product. dude, I didn't even bring it I don't want to bother here. you. Oh, no, you're dead, man. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, I have the world's only three-time signed Mark Jeweler Deadpool. What do you mean the world's only? Because... People are dead and two people don't sign one person signs. <laughs> so if Fabian if Rob signs this, Fabian will not sign this. Why? It's if, something he tells you dead to his to, dead to your face. At least he, he doesn't did. like Rob Liefeld? Well, as far as I know, that's what he told me back I don't know, five, six years ago. I didn't so know that. He will not sign it, so I had to get Fabian to sign it first. Then you get Rob to sign it, then Stan Lee. Well, Stan Lee's dead. So I looked it up, even though this this one's only, uh, this one, not, this is not the one, but I have a six. It's not a great grade, right? But once you have the, the factor of there is no other that is triple signed with a Mark Jeweler, then the price goes up. My friend had a 9.4 plane, nothing on it, 16,000, recorded eBay, right? Well, what about if you have four times signed? So I got to get Ryan Reynolds to sign that one, and then I'm going to charge twenty-eight thousand for that, wow. and I won't take a penny less. Did you have you watched it? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. Yeah, I love it. That's the next one. Get on this one. And you can. Kaiju number eight. Oh yeah. This oh, that's the free comic book. Yeah. Thing. How much did that be, go for? I don't know. It's like ten dollars now. This is the one you get. I'm telling that's you, gonna be it. it's so I good. I watched it already. Yeah, I'm yeah, up on like, everything. I like anime. Good anime. <laughs> that Doctor Doom. Oh, that's cool stuff. What is I this? Do, what is this? I've been seeing that one pop off lately. It's just literally Iron Man in a Doom costume that people are obsessed with. Oh. Once, just once a hit. Literally, it was nothing. Like two weeks ago, dollar bro. Now, now twenty dollar okay. bro. <laughs> that's like this thing right here. These have been. Popping off. How much was that before the announcement? Was it like ten bucks or twenty bucks or something? It was maybe ten dollars. This one I got more recently before it spike spiked. But my initial one I got because I, I read the whole series and I got the whole series for like maybe thirty dollars. Yeah, Infamous Iron Man's a good run. Alex Maleev did all the covers on there. I'm pretty sure, right? They're beautiful covers. I should have brought it, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to let go of it just yet. <laughs> But yeah, it's all reader copy because I've read it like three times already. Are you guys? Right. Have you guys been there? The whole time? Yeah. yeah Did you make it to stand it? No, we stuck to our last run. The artist is Aaron Bartland here. He was on the list. Be over here, right? but I didn't see him. No, I don't know. That's a good five dollar right grab right there. Yeah, look at that. That's the first Jim Lee on Instagram. That's another five dollar grab too. First full bishop right on that one. Cool stuff. Oh, is this the blood hunt run? Yeah, it's the red band. One, two, five. If you want it, it's yours. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, I'm just oh, I don't even... You serious? If you want that, it's yours. But if you're gonna put it up, take it. Are you serious? 100%. I, I literally have no cash on me, or else no, I'd give you the five bucks, I swear yours. to God. <laughs> really? I know. Thanks, man. Hey. Come on, man. <laughs> Thank you, dude. That's so awesome. Oh, snap. That's pretty sick. I'm surprised no one wanted that. Thank you so much, man. You gotta cover every inch of the wall. Yeah. Let's check out what else we got That's over here. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Poster collection. Some Momoko. Yeah, this is cool. There's just prints in there. They're like little prints. Oh, that is cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Nice, like art book. I have a Mark Brooks one, but I sold that one already. What are you selling more of? Modern stuff, older stuff? All modern stuff. I usually only have modern stuff. So that's, that, my, that that's my bag. Sweet spot, right? That $20? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, hey, man, hey. Thanks so much, dude, no once problem. again. <laughs> Next time. See you later. Oh, here's Sam. Sam's got a line. Sign in some paper. Got a the sleeper book. I saw that earlier. Nobody ever thought, and, and be truthful here, you never thought that Scooby-Doo was ever going to be the number one Bronze Age book of, over Star Wars, 
over 181. You know what's so funny? I just was talking about that. I'm looking for a Scooby Doo. Yeah, but I ran and got a Scooby Doo, didn't I? Because I ain't gonna be out. You know what I mean? I bought one like a five that I, I knew I could change it to a six. But the Fat Alberts, they just. Yeah, you know. Yeah. There's all the other one, two, three, four, five. But this, it can be messed up. Fifty dollars. Then you get somebody come up. Can I have it for four dollars? Can't do that. You know? Yeah. Hard to find. But they don't understand, you know. I'll just show you something real quick. You don't, you don't have to have any pain if you want. But I made this last night before, before I got to the show. Because you have to have a sweat shirt. So that when you come in after you're done, you put on a clean shirt. So I, I took a Planet Fitness shirt that was brand new. And... Right? Right? <laughs> And then the last time, then I got the, the, the other lady, she was like, I'm a, I'm a bust you up, sucker. And I got all the special ones, so. Nice spice here. What are you selling more of at the show? Older stuff, newer stuff? It, it is a proper mix of everything, dude. I'm telling you, like, the best thing that I'm gonna say, because every, oh, obviously Silver Age is Silver Age, and I still got the old thing, but the sets that are here, pristine, and they're, they're just all the good stories, you know what I mean? Just right here. Here, can I borrow this chair real quick, Ashley? No, this one. Oh, this one? This one's helping hold that up, so. Oh, sh I'll give, bring it right back. Okay. Let's see what we got, Steve. So these are from your personal collection. Right. Remember that guy showed you that weird tales, the first Conan story? Yeah. Well, Pedro. This is the first Conan on any cover of anything. Oh my gosh, you have one of them. Yeah. That's yeah. so awesome. I had it and then I got it graded too. These books are so thick too, wow. Oh yeah, look. That's, where'd, where'd you get that from? You bought it online or? Bought it on eBay years ago. It's in good shape. Early Conan cover. Yeah. You got some awesome stuff in your That's personal collection. 90 years old. Con Edison, the Hey, how you How's doing? Going? We gotta Good. come over to your house one of these days, Steve, and see all the cool stuff, stuff you got. Wow, that, you don't see that. You know who that is? That's 1950. No, who's that? Stan Lee. What? You're yeah. welcome to any cover. Yeah? That's Stan Lee on the cover. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He posed for it. Oh, wow, it says it right there. Yeah. Ooh, don't drop it. What? Stan Lee photo cover from yeah. 1950. Yeah, 1950. He's, show Sarah this though. What's the situation on that? Look at that. Remember Pedro showed us the first Dang. um Conan? This is his first cover. Oh that's yeah. cool. Yeah. He doesn't look as buff as he does the new stuff. That's still a great cover wow. though. It's 90 years ago. They weren't they very buff back they then. They weren't buff back then. <laughs> <laughs> they had no steroids back then. Yeah, yeah, they, <laughs> they didn't work out. Weird back tales? <laughs> yeah. How, How are awesome. you doing? How you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic, man. That's a very you. hard to find um Kirby, Simon and Kirby book. Any golden age is hard to find. Dude, I haven't had a golden wow. age book in here. Now, some floppy Batman First or something, but not anything like that. A boy explorer. He was, you guys were lucky. This is the only, they only made one issue of it, too. So, I had to get it. So, I've been collecting war books. That's on. Oh, wow. And that's like the best flamethrower cover on a war book. That's a crazy cover, yeah. I had to put that in a magazine bag because it's so much bigger than these other books. Where do you find these? Do you just search online for them? Yeah, or? I go to my comic shop a lot, too. Yeah. Um, that, that, that's a Kirby cover there. All Out War, Foxhole number five. Yeah. Now these are, these are propaganda books. This book, this book, and especially this one are very rare. That's a crazy cover, yeah. So that one they've got the, the, they're shooting the people. And then that one, they're burning the flag. So, you know what this That's is? crazy. This is not a communist book, though. It's a, more of a religion type propaganda book. This book, there's only, I think, 24 known to exist. Yeah. Very hard book to find. That's crazy. Isn't it? That's What's your number one book in your collection, Steve? Wait a minute, I got one more thing to show you. The very first price guy. Oh, 
that's the first comic price guide yeah. ever. That's a sick. Oh, that's sick. What? That's crazy. You like never see those. This has the. Doesn't that say that Amazing Fantasy 15 was worth like 15 bucks or something? Yeah. Superman that's one, nuts. like the first Superman was like uh, hundred bucks. Hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's crazy the prices in here, but it's 1970. Sam set up with all his remarks and stuff. What's up, Aaron? Hey, Good, how you doing? What's up, man? Just looking at your artwork you got over here, some really nice stuff. Oh, thanks, man. You did the exclusive for the show. Oh, sweet. Oh. Yeah. I watch you guys all the time on YouTube. Oh, really? Oh, no way. Nice to meet you, yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you, yeah. Hey. Angelo, yep. Yeah. Working on a piece over here now. Yeah, just a vampirilla. Just a vampirilla? That's awesome. We're big vampirilla fans over here. Ah. A touch of blood. Just, yeah, just simple, you know? That's awesome. These are nice, too. Oh, look at the Harley, yeah. Hulk and Rhino. Yeah, these are some storyboards. I also do storyboards uh, for movies and TV shows. Oh really? Oh really? What are some movies or TV shows you've worked on? Well, these are for Morbius, the movie. You worked on the movie Morbius? And I also did the comic Marvel. Oh wow! Yeah. Like, this is from a book I'm doing right now called Ethereal. But, um, Oh, that's awesome. You got the pencils with the inks. Yeah. So what year was this? The 90s? Yeah, this is the 90s. I would say 94, 5. Wow. So yeah, there's that. Oh, wow. These are awesome. Thanks. So these are actual pages from the... Well, these are... These are uh, this is a Xerox book. I, I already sold that a long time ago. Do you regret selling pieces that you had yeah. back in the day? <laughs> yeah. In fact, Aaron just bought one. When I only had two. I have the one he just got. The, oh, you just I bought a piece, Aaron? What's that? You just bought a piece? Oh, I did, yeah. Can I, I check it out? I'd love to check it out. Yeah. I'll do. Thanks. This is the only That's cover so awesome. I have left, but I'm like, sometimes it's like, I'll sell stuff, and I'm like, oh, why did you do that? Yeah, you know? regret it. Because uh, you don't get it back, you know? Yep. Or you got to pay for it if you do. <laughs> yeah, you got to rebuy it, right? right. Yeah. Let's twice. see what you got. Yeah, this is the cover he took. Oh, oh wow. my gosh, no way. I know exactly which run this is now that I see this cover. This is a great run. Yeah, it's one of the books I had from when I was a kid. So when I Dude, that is sick, Aaron. I was lucky to talk him into selling it. <laughs> <laughs> it, took, it took some coaxing. Wow, that's yeah. so sick. Wow, congrats, Aaron. That's an awesome piece, man. Thank you, thank you. That's Appreciate awesome. It. Oh, yeah. hello, camera. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And you got a couple more pages here, too, it looks like. Yeah, I got some more pages. These, are, I don't have, you know, over the years, I sold all the interior stuff. Stuff that I did, for Marvel. Um, did you sell it because you didn't have an idea that it was going to be worth money down the road, or no, you just didn't care about it as much? As much at the time, I was just you know breaking in and early on in my career, so I would sell stuff and try to pay the bills. You know, totally understand that. Yeah, um, these are incredible. But yeah, now it's kind of like uh, and this is a swamp pit, swamp thing that was unused. DC was talking to me about possibly doing Swamp Thing, which was cool. That would have been fun. Um, and then this is a Sher old Sherlock Holmes painting. And wow. some pages. I did a one-shot with Warren Ellis for Caliber Comics. And then this is some other stuff, just, you know, odd onions. And then back here I did some... Uh, oh, I love that. That's cool. Yeah, this is for a heavy metal band. Mother Mayhem. Uh, and then these are some inks that I did over another penciler for DC. 
Those are all your personal collection books? Wow, that evil Ernie is awesome. The crow. You're going to send those into CGC? Yeah, now they're doing uh, signature verification. What is that book in your hand there? That's first appearance of crow. It predates crow number one. Wow. Caliber presents Caliber one. Presents one. It started off well. Yeah, you know it starts well. That's so sick though. Yeah. What else you got in there? You got some... Oh, I got some stuff. Are those like trade material? Yeah, or? trade. Um, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, you First blob. Oh, you're looking for one? <laughs> there you go. Everybody wants X-Men, right? Um, yeah, this one. Oh, that's oh, nice. a good one too. Yeah. Yeah. Just was low grade. Third lizard? Second. Second, second lizard. lizard. Yeah, it was just a cool book. White page. That one I bought raw for... Yeah. I think it was like it was like 30 or 40 bucks. Oh, you gotta love that. Yeah, I just saw it and I was like, you take 30 and, and it came back and I was like, all right. Yeah. And what else? What else? Nah, this one you've seen. Oh, that was the second one. Yeah. So two, both of them, I had two of them, both came back 9.8s. What are you looking to trade all those for? Are you looking for anything specific? No, nothing specific. It was just whatever. Um, I What I was on the hunt for was the Watchman number one and nobody has a high grade card. Those are hard. Those that paper on that book yeah. is hard. Yeah, Tom had one. He had a set, and I was like, yes. And then, yeah. Nah. Now not, that not I know through, you're looking yeah. for one, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, but it's. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get out of the way. So nobody, nobody goes to the ladies. Oh, the, that's the first appearance, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the first. Beautiful copy. That's one of those like small keys that we didn't really talk about. Yeah. Exactly. Well, my whole niche is always going for the ladies. So anybody who's looking to get books, go for lady books. First appearance of ladies, whether it's the A-list ladies, B-list, C-list ladies. And obviously she's one of the few people who could actually beat Batman that as a that has been acknowledged in comics that she could technically beat Batman. She could beat Batman in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Now obviously with preparation and things like that, you know, Batman can't be touched. Yeah. But hand-to-hand, -hand, she's one of the best fighters in DC. So cool. You picked that up today? Yep, oh, from Tom. Awesome. Nice. So our Everybody's Tom. picking cool stuff up from Tom. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's good seeing you too, man. See ya. Take care, guys. Bye, Ashley. See you, Ashley. Good seeing you guys. Take care. See you next month. Yeah. See ya. Hey, man. Take care. It was good right. seeing you. I got your message, so I'll hit you up and everything like that. Awesome. Yeah. All right, take care, dude. Take care. Bye. Take a little right down here. Goodbye to Lee and Tom. And then we are headed out of here. Definitely a successful time. We got some really fun books for our personal collection. So, yeah, I would say it's a success. Still waiting on six stones. Six stones for the Infinity Scavenger. Bringing one of these up on the stage to receive a prize. You guys have a good show? Is that your box that you bought? The box stuff I bought. I, 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 I wish. <laughs> I know I've, I've bought it four times what I've sold. Oh, that's cool. The mask? Ooh, a little, what is that? Battle Chasers Chromium? That's a Chromium cover, oh, yeah. Critters with Usagi and Jimbo? What? That's some serious gallery. Oh, a lot of interesting things I haven't seen before. You got those two? Oh, that's awesome. What? The Binky. The Binky. I thought it was right in there. Got some Moon Knights. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome there. Yeah. That's a really nice copy, too. Oh, that's pretty good. Right? Wow, look at him, like, cutting the guy's head off. That's sick. What is that one? Let me see that. Whoa. So we've got one of the stones First appearance in U.S. comic of Barbarella. Wow. Stone in my hand. That means that there are five more stones. Oh, Futurama. That's nice. Patsy and Penny. Well, I'd say you had a successful buying day. Yeah. Let me see that. Oh, they're cool. True love number one. I got, I got, I got a customer who likes the romance yeah, stuff. So romance stuff, yeah. I buy whatever I can get. He, he hasn't turned one down yet. And I'm also wow. trying to cultivate a romance section, but what is I have one book because he's bought all of them. Wow, so. romance books are really good. I mean, the Charlton ones, they used to be super cheap, and now they get more expensive. The Golden Age stuff. Oh, look at the really leather cool. face. Yeah, the Golden Age, like Tom, when he does all that, like, old Golden Age romance books. Got, the both of them guys got nothing. I yeah. bought everything they had. <laughs> what are you doing with this Futurama? 
That's a, such a sick one. Well, I gotta put it in my shop for like 150 <laughs> Featurama's hot, hot. So. Yeah, they redid the series. Yeah. Dang, those are fun books here. Nice box, Lee. And thanks for the deal on that. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited about that. Awesome. I want to say bye awesome. before we head out. And then we got, uh, we're going to be heading to Steve's probably this weekend. Oh, yeah, you're Finally going do the video there? at Steve's. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you gonna see Show the world his incredible before. collection. Yeah. Everything we got was for the personal collection today. Yeah, literally everything. So, really great day. Got some magazines, got the first Hellboy, got a nice Wonder Woman. And yeah, it was an awesome convention. This one's always a really fun one-day convention. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we will see you guys next time.